In the last 24 hours, two cruise lines have announced the suspension of service and there has been a travel ban put on European travelers going to the United States. We'll take a look at these stories and more on today's episode of the La Lita Loca Cruise Show. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. My name's Tony. Glad to have you here. If you enjoy that cruise life, that cruising content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these daily episodes. Well, the big cruise stories that are coming out is the suspension of service by two major cruise lines. It's the announcement from Viking Cruises that they would be suspending both their river and ocean cruise operations. In a statement from Viking Chairman Torsten Hagen, he said, Since we started Viking nearly 23 years ago, we have always cared first and foremost about our guests and our employees. I feel we have become one large Viking family of 500,000 guests each year and 10,000 employees. Since day one, it has been our mission to create experiences for our guests that focus on destination and allow them to explore the world in comfort. This has always been Viking's ambition and will remain so. He continues, I am writing today because the situation has now become one such that operating a travel company involves significant risk. He goes on, as a private company with strong finances, we do not have to worry about quarterly profit expectations and that flexibility allows us the ability to do what's best for our guests and our employees as we have always done. This is the stance that Viking is taking, suspending operations until May and I think if you read between the lines there, they're saying it's very challenging right now to be a travel company. Uh, sure, they still have their inventory. They still have their ships. They can put people on them. But extenuating circumstances, making getting people to destinations, making operating those ships in a way that's hassle-free and enjoyable to consumers, it's a challenge. In the face of that, they're saying, well, maybe let's just take a break. We've got enough money in the bank. We can take a couple months off and let everything settle down. Now, if you have a Viking cruise book during this period, they will give you all of your money back. And they are also trying to entice people to stay with their line by offering a 125% future cruise credit that you can use for the next 24 months. And what's really cool with Viking is if for some reason you take the future cruise credit, you go the 24 months and you don't use it, they'll go ahead and give you your money back at that point. A nice move here by Viking Cruises saying we got to take a break, but let's not hurt the employees. Let's not hurt the consumer, uh, giving everybody their money back and also incentivizing you to cruise with Viking again. Of course, Viking wasn't the only one to suspend their services. An announcement that came out this morning, Princess Cruise Line suspending their service for the next 60 days. In a statement released by Jan Schwartz, the president of Princess Cruise Lines, she makes an appeal that health and safety more important than finances. She says, it is our intention to reassure our loyal guests, team members, and global stakeholders of our commitment to the health, safety, and well-being of all who sail with us, as well as those who do business with us and the countries and communities we visit around the world. Passengers selling on Princess Cruises that end in the next five days will finish out their sailing as normal. Passengers that are on cruises that extend past March the 17th, those cruises will be cut short and passengers will be disembarked at a convenient disembarkation port. This is a big impact as Princess Cruise Line serves around 50,000 passengers a day across their 18 cruise ships. But much like what we heard from Viking, it is a challenge right now to operate any kind of travel business. Princess Cruise Line offering passengers who are booked on the cruises that have been suspended the ability to move their funds to a future cruise without any hassle, any expense. In addition, they will be giving generous onboard credits to people that keep their cruise money with Princess. However, if moving your funds to a future cruise is not an option for you, you can request a refund of your funds for the canceled sailings. Swartz summed it up best saying, while this is a difficult business decision, we firmly believe it is the right one and is in alignment with our company's core values. Many of us who follow cruising were asking ourselves the question, would there come a time where cruise lines stop cruising to address what's going on in the world? We're starting to see that. 
there is a lot of change going on. And now with Viking and Princess making these announcements, the question remains, is this just the tip of the iceberg? Will we see other large cruise lines suspend their service for a period of time? What is interesting is if you've tracked the cruise industry at all, you know that it is a growing industry, a very profitable industry with a customer base that is continuing to grow, continuing to increase profit and revenue, continuing to increase quarter over quarter. And at the end of the day, it probably is easier to put the fleet at rest opposed to dealing with the challenges in the world right now. It's a good chance for these companies to hit the reset button and to figure out after 60 days what they're going to do next. And this just in, while trying to finish up the show and get it uploaded to YouTube, an announcement just came out that the new cruise line Virgin Voyages completely pushing back the launch of their cruise line. They will now kick off their inaugural season in July of 2020 with its maiden voyage officially being in August. Virgin Voyages, just like Viking and Princess Cruises, looking at the current landscape of cruising and saying it's better to push, it's better to wait than to jump into a whole lot of challenge. Virgin Voyages, what a time to have jumped into cruising. Probably the worst time ever. And now they're going to hold off a little bit before they release Scarlet Lady to the rest of the world. Uh, there'll be more info coming out, but that is just breaking news. The Virgin Voyage season pushed to July the 15th. I mentioned on the show last week that it seemed like this was a pivotal point in history where life as we know it would change. Uh, that language sounds a little bit dramatic, but if you look at what's happened over just the last few days, there is significant change going on in the world. Case in point, last night the United States announced a new travel restriction for citizens of Europe. Starting this Friday night, European citizens will no longer be allowed to travel to the United States. Significantly, this travel restriction excludes the United Kingdom and also significantly, and a question I'm sure many people had, what if you are an American citizen traveling abroad, will this restrict you from returning home? The answer to that question is no. U.S. citizens are able to come and go from the United States back and forth to Europe. There may be an additional health screening process as you return to the country, but the travel restriction is primarily for European citizens wanting to travel into the United States. This travel ban, not that dissimilar to the one put in place restricting Chinese citizens into the United States and other countries that have struggled over the last month. We continue to see that this is not just about travel. This is not just about cruising. There are significant changes that are going on from employers requesting employees to work from home, uh, schools closing down, just a personal example, our son, our college-age son, his spring break was extended for a week, and they were notified that once they return from spring break, they will be working in a manner where they don't actually have face-to-face -face interaction in classrooms. Universities, schools using technology to continue their classes, but looking for ways to not have people gather together for classes. Now, that's significant. Also announced yesterday was the suspension of the National Basketball League Association season uh, due to the issues. And the NBA cancellation is just one of many things that we could point to where there have been events canceled, conferences deferred, uh, just a variety of change happening to address the current concerns. There's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot going on in cruise news. I guess the question today is how is this affecting you? Has anything happened where you are having to change the way that you live? Uh, fortunately for me and my wife, we work from home. Not much has changed for us. How are things changing for you? Have you had anything change with your job? Uh, have you changed travel plans? How have the events of the last week affected you? It's interesting to see Viking and Princess making these announcements. Do you think that more cruise lines will be making these announcements soon? Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you found the information helpful. If you could hit that like button, share the show with a friend, and watch another one of our episodes. This is Tony with the La Lita Loca Cruise Show, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.